Welcome to my Yoga Influence Lessons designed for people emerging from their chronic pain. I designed these videos to build from the principles and exercises found in my home programs that solve pain from head to toe. Think of these videos as the next step to take to reclaim the life you want. You can find a link and discount code to those home programs below. I've also made a lot of other YouTube videos to help you test and understand your pain. You can find those videos listed below too. I would strongly encourage you to begin with the first video of this series, which looks like this, and progress through each one to build your awareness and skills. That way, you won't miss key information. Please subscribe and comment below if you like to catch new videos I'm making. I love to read people's comments, especially if they're encouraging. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin with child's pose. Begin in your hand, on your hands and knees. Sit back on your heels. Widen your knees so that your belly can sit comfortably between both of your thighs. Rest your head on the floor, either on a pillow or on the floor, whatever is comfortable for you. Feel free to put cushions back here behind your legs, underneath your ankles to make you comfortable. Inhale. And exhale. Relax your body. Feel wherever you're holding tension and try to let it go. On your next exhale, walk your hands to the right. Inhale. Exhale, walking to the right. Rest your head on your fist or on your cushion. Breathe into the left rib cage. Exhale and press your left hip down towards your right foot, or I'm sorry, left foot. Feel the lengthening along your left shoulder and rib cage. Expand your left rib cage on the inhale. On the next exhale, walk your hands back to center. Rest your head on the floor or on your cushion. On the next exhale, walk your hands to the left. Wherever is comfortable for you. Rest your head on your cushion or your fist. Feel your right rib cage and shoulder lengthening. Inhale into that rib cage. Exhale, pressing the right hip to your right foot to accentuate that lengthening. On your next exhale, we're going to bring the hands back to center. Try 
Try to make your exhale a little bit longer than you in than your inhale. Next, we're going to do something called threading the needle. We're going to move our left hand through to the right side and rest back down again. You might feel a nice stretch in your left shoulder doing this. On the next exhale, we're going to come up onto your right hand. We're going to move the left hand up so it's almost even with your right hand. On the next exhale, we're going to sit back onto your heels again, keeping the left hand up. So now the left shoulder is stretching into somewhat of a diagonal. Your head can rest on your arm if you like. And you might feel a different stretch with this position. Try to relax your body into the stretch. Sense what is still holding on and let that go. Adjust your body as necessary. On the next exhale, we're going to move back onto our right hand. And then we're going to bring our left hand back through so our hands are level with each other and sit back on the heels again. Resting your head on the floor, relaxing your body into the child's pose position. On our next exhale, we're going to come up and move our right arm through the armpit area of our left side and come back down and rest comfortably. And feel perhaps a stretch through your right shoulder. Breathe through the stretch. Feel your body relax into it. Just notice whether one arm feels different than the other. Try to relax. Notice where your attention is and let it go. On the next exhale, we're going to move on to the left hand. We're going to slide the right hand up so it's about level with the left hand. On the exhale, we're going to sit back down, 
dragging the right hand wherever it's going to go. So it's in more of a diagonal now. Your head can rest on your right arm or place a pillow underneath your right shoulder if you like. Try to sense where you're still holding tension and let that go. What do you need to do to make your body feel more comfortable? On the next exhale, we're going to go back up onto our left hand. Bring the right arm through. Sit back into child's pose once again. Rest. Remain in the present. On our next exhale, we we'll move back up into the all fours position. And now we're going to be moving into something called dragon pose. What you're going to do is you're going to move your right foot up so it's between your left and right hands. Your chest is resting on your right thigh. We're going to slide, lift up your left knee, and we're going to slide the left foot back, wherever that's comfortable, and you're going to drop your left knee back down again. Once you do that, then you're going to point your left toes away so your foot is resting on the top of the foot. So the top of the foot is resting on the ground. This is called dragon pose. You'll feel a nice stretch in the front of your left hip or thigh. Adjust yourself to be more comfortable, whatever that is. A lot of people like to put books or yoga blocks underneath each hand to give them more support. Feel free to do that. Now, in this position, I notice I'm weight-bearing through my left hand more than I'm weight-bearing through my right. So I'm going to be slowly shifting over to the right as I breathe to weight-bear more through that arm. And I'll feel that that changes the stretch in my left thigh and hip as I do that. You might also feel a stretch through your hamstring on the right side. That's the back of the thigh. A breath or two here. And then on the next breath, I'm going to shift back over to my left side. And feel how the stretch changes in this position. Allow your head to rest down. And I'll shift back over to my right hand again. And if it would be more comfortable for you to point your left toes out to the side or move your knee to the side, feel free to make whatever adjustments you need to to make this more comfortable so you can relax into the stretch. I'm moving over to my left hand again. I 
allowing my hips to sink to the floor. Trying to release whatever tension, whatever is holding on still. Let it go. I'm shifting back over to my right arm again. A nice long deep stretch. Once more over to my left arm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my weight back towards my left foot. And you'll feel more of a stretch through this back of this right leg, the hamstring area here. Okay, I'm still weight bearing through my hands. I'm going to lift up my toes on my right side. And then I'm going to move them back down again. Shifting back to lift. And then moving them back down, this time without my body moving forward. So I'm going to stay back here, lifting. And lower. Lifting. And lowering. Once more. Lift. And lower. We're going to shift forward. Now I'm going to move my right foot back. Let's take a, a rest in the child's pose. Next exhale, we're going to come back up onto all fours. And now we're going to move into our left leg coming forward. So bring the left foot forward so it is resting between the two hands. We're going to lift the right knee up so you're on the toes of your right foot. Scooch those back a little bit until that's about as far as you can go. You're going to lower the right knee back down. And now let the top of the right foot rest on the floor. You'll feel a stretch through your right thigh and hip and possibly through your left back of your leg or your hamstring here. I'm now more naturally resting on my right side. And now I'm going to slowly shift over to my left side. Again, use those yoga blocks or books or whatever you'd like underneath your hands. To make this more comfortable for you, adjust whatever you need to. If your right knee needs to point outward or your foot outward, that's fine. And then we're going to shift back to the other hand again. Allow your head to drop. Notice what is still tensing and try to relax that. I'm shifting my weight over to my left hand again. Feel how that changes the stretch. Back to my right hand again. Even though I'm weight bearing through my arms, I'm trying to remain as relaxed as possible through my shoulders my neck, my head, my back. Let's go back to the left hand again. My right hand. Now we're going to move our hips back 
towards the right foot. The left toes stay down. You'll feel a lengthening through this left hamstring area here. We're going to lift those left toes, allowing our body to move back just a little bit further. And then we're going to lower the toes down, trying to keep the body back. We'll do a few of those. We're going to lift. And lower the toes. Breathe while doing this. Remain calm. Relaxed. Let your body hold you up. Once more. We're going to move our body forward again. We're going to bring the left foot back. So you're in the all fours position. Open up those knees to allow your belly to come through and sit back onto your heels. And rest. Exhale, come into the all fours position. Now we're going to bring the left knee or the right knee, whatever is better for you, across and we're going to sit. Cross the legs, whatever is comfortable for you, if you need to be up on a stool or have something underneath your rear end pillows or whatever feel free to do that if you don't like your feet this close to you you can scoot them further away it's really up to you whatever is comfortable for you okay this is not a competition we're just stretching out let's just finish with some nice breathing tall but relaxed spine feeling the rib cage expanding in all directions on the inhale and relaxing on the exhale notice wherever there is tension Adjust your posture accordingly. I want you to be able to relax at this point. Remain in the present. Feel how your body feels after this exercise. <sighs> 